Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the factors of this given polynomial x power 5 plus x plus 1. So we want to find the factors and apparently we don't see any kind of pattern to proceed except we can see that x power 5 could be written as x power 3 times x power 2. And here are these two formulas. One of them is sum of two cubes and the other one is difference of two cubes. And we want to apply this formula to factorize this given polynomial. And here is our polynomial. I have just copied it down over here. And let's go ahead and manipulate it in a such a way that we could apply one of these formulas. So let's do one thing. This is what I'm going to do. I am going to add x square and then subtract x square at the same time. And they won't have any effect on this polynomial because they add up to zero. So now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. First, I'm going to put down x power five, and then I'm gonna write down negative x square, and then I am going to write down plus x square and then plus x and then plus 1. And now let's look at these first two terms. As we can see that we can factor out x square and in the parentheses we are ended up with x cube minus 1 and then we're going to leave everything as it is. x square plus x plus 1. And now let's focus on this part. x power 3 minus 1. I have just copied it down over here on the right hand side. And we can write uh, x power 3 minus 1 could be written as 1 power 3. So this represents the difference of two cubes. So therefore we are going to apply this formula. The difference of two cubes a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. In our case, this x is going to be our a and 1 is going to be our b. And let's go ahead and apply that formula that is going to give us x minus 1 time that's going to become x square plus this is x times 1 and then plus 1 square. Let's simplify furthermore. So that could be written as x minus 1 times x square plus x and then plus 1 square is same as plus 1. So over this on the left hand side we could write x square and then as you can see this part x cube minus 1 has been factored out into this thing so I'm going to replace that one by this factors so I can write x minus 1 times x square plus x plus 1 and then whatever this stuff is I'm going to write down plus x square plus x plus 1. And now as we can see that this part x square plus x plus 1 is in common in both over here. So I could factor this one outside. I can write x square plus x and then plus 1 outside and then inside the parentheses is going to be simply this part as you can see this one over here so I can write this thing x square times x minus 1 and then over here so once we get this thing outside we are left with 1 so I can write plus 1 
over here. Now let's go ahead and uh, simplify furthermore. So x squared plus x plus 1. We're going to just leave it as it is. Let's go ahead and distribute this x squared with all these ones inside this parentheses. So this could be written as x power 3 minus x squared plus 1. And these are our complete factors. So thus our factors turn out to be x squared plus x plus 1 times x cubed minus x squared plus 1. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.